my research for a long time was uh, space propulsion, you know, using plasmas for uh, electric propulsion to propel small satellite uh, in space. Uh, since moving to George Washington University, I expanded my program, and so we're working on other plasma applications such as plasma nanotechnology and the relatively new area of what we call plasma medicine using plasma properties that are unique in terms of application uh, for biological species. When we started to work with biologists, we noticed that plasma selectively kill cancer cells without you know, damaging normal cells. Underlying mechanism we still don't know uh, to a large extent. We have several hypotheses. We are interested in, in what we call cold plasma, where uh, the plasma that is created would have very low, close to room temperature. So there is no thermal damage uh, to the tissue. The plasma sensor is a cocktail. It's a cocktail of many species, including many reactive species, such as reactive oxygen species and reactive nitrogen species. All these species interact with a cell or with, with the tissue, and it causes um, certain pathways in the cell. There is usually a higher level of reactive oxygen in the cancer cell as opposed to normal cell by adding the same amount of extra um, reactive oxygen to cancer cell, we can go over the threshold while we still under the threshold in the case of a normal cell. And this can be one of the possible uh, mechanism of selectivity. Low hanging fruits in this sense would be treating uh, skin cancer, where you can have immediate access to the damage or cancerous tissue. Next level of possible application would be uh, treating what's called uh, surgical margin. When surgeon remove tumor, uh, he typically removed more than just actual cancerous tissue and because there is some spreading of, of a cancer cell. What uh, plasma can allow to do is to minimize uh, this surgical margin. After surgery, uh, one would treat the margins with, with a cold plasma and assuming that our hypothesis and our evidence is, is correct, it will be able to um, eradicate uh, cancerous cells. I think the most optimistic uh, projection would be, I guess, in, in several years, we would be in position of starting getting uh, approval by Federal uh, Drug Administration uh, for some of these devices.